Digging for Health. I'm Andrea and this year was our first year ever trying to grow our own popcorn. So in this video we're going to be attempting to pop our mini pink popcorn, our mini blue popcorn, as well as our glass gem corn, which is actually a flint corn. Uh, but we are going to attempt to use it as a popcorn. Now I have read that there is more than one way to dry your popcorn for popping. Uh, what we decided to do this time is we allowed the plant to dry completely. So um, once the, the corn stalk was completely brown and the corn itself was starting to harden, uh, that's when we decided to go ahead and harvest it. And then I allowed it to, I shucked it, took everything off and allowed it to dry in a basket for about a week before I popped all of the kernels off into containers. I sealed them in those containers with little silica packets and left them for two additional weeks. And that's what brings us to today and we are going to try popping them. You can also use a dehydrator for a faster process, um, I'm, I'm told. But this is our first time ever growing popcorn at all. Um, so this is the only experience that I have with it, period. Um, but I thought it would be fun to go ahead and give glass gem corn a try as well because it is so pretty. Um, and I would like to have a use for it other than just being pretty. Um, because we don't use flint corn, so if I can eat some of it and use the rest for decorations, then it's a winner for me. Pink popcorn is a success. Popcorn number two is the mini blue. Mini blue popcorn is also a success. I was most curious about because it's not necessarily a uh, popcorn. It's a blank uh, corn that people say works as popcorn. So the glass gem corn, and I did mostly shock the yellowish colored ones because I kept the pretty purples and blues as um, decoration. <laughs> So that's why it doesn't actually look like gem corn right now because I only took apart the ones that I didn't think were as pretty. Okay. Oh, it didn't fly out as well. It did pop though. It's hot. Okay. I may have scooped out a little bit less of this, but I definitely didn't get as many kernels popping. Let's see. I mean, it still tastes like popcorn. I think it's pretty good. Um, now this, this popcorn popper, oh my goodness. Yeah, unplug that, it has a mind of its own. This is literally the cheapest air popper that I could find. Um, so it's not the best. And it does have a tendency, even with like the grocery store popcorn, to fling out a lot of the kernels before they've popped. Not because they aren't viable, but because as it's blowing the lighter pieces of popcorn out, it catches them. So it doesn't get a perfect pop every time anyway. But I mean, this is clearly a lot less that popped than with the other popcorn. Um, and it didn't come out because it's a heavier uh, popcorn kernel. But, I mean, I would definitely say this could be used as a popcorn if you wanted to use it as a popcorn. Um, and you didn't realize it was a flint corn and didn't have any other use for it. Absolutely, go ahead and pop it up. Use it as popcorn. Um, the easiest way to pop this would probably be on the stove with a little bit of oil the good old-fashioned way rather than using an air popper. So another method of hopping popcorn that I use here is the hot pop bowls. 
Um, this is probably the one I use more often, um, but if you don't like using the microwave, I would say the other, the air popper is better because this is a handy dandy bowl that you put popcorn kernels in and then you microwave them just like you would bagged popcorn. No oil or butter is necessary. I figured I would go ahead and give this a try as well to see if the glass gem corn actually pops a little bit better in this. And we will go ahead and compare it to the mini blue just to, just for comparison to see. It did a little bit better. So I would say overall that the hot pop bowl works a little bit better than the air popper, but the actual popcorn kernels definitely pop better overall than the glass gem corn.